Welcome to Scorpion Adventures with Johnny and Mitch. On this channel, we will be covering various species of scorpions, their habitats, and other scorpion activities. Red claws can be found in Central Africa, and they normally range from around three and a half to four inches in length. That's about what this guy is right here. Um, oftentimes, they're confused with emperor scorpions in that they do look a lot alike. However, red claws have a red tint in their claws and at the tip of their tail, and they tend to be a little more aggressive. Red claws like a sandy, moist burrow to hide in, and that's what we tried to replicate over here in our terrarium, and that's what my buddy Mitch is going to show you here in a sec. Okay, here's a look at Victor the Red Claw's tank, and uh, to the right here we have a raised water dish, and the reason you want it raised is because when the scorpion's walking around and digging, you don't want him to be throwing any sand into his water dish. And uh, another thing is, a lot of people say to put a sponge in your water dish so they can drink out of, but that's false. It's just going to breed bacteria, unless you're going to change the sponge every other day, you're not going to want to put a sponge in there. So just keep the water level re relatively low. They don't drink that much, but they do like water. So just keep it a little bit low and replace it every few days. And then uh, right in the middle here, we just have a small plant just to give the uh, tank some variety. And right here to the left, we have a piece of driftwood. And if you can see in the video, there's a little like half moon cut out. And uh, that's where his burrow is. That's where he likes to hide, if you can see him right there. And he likes to stay under there, most, mostly during the day. And at night, he comes out and he prowls around in the sand. If you look over here, there is a heat mat. And it's not directly beneath the hide. You do not want to put it beneath the hide because they'll burrow down right there and it'll be in direct contact with the mat and that'll burn them and it'll kill them. So I keep it about one to two inches out just so he can feel the warmth but it's not directly underneath his hide so he's not going to go for it. Um, a lot of people will have scorpions and they won't put hides in there and they, it just stresses the scorpion out and they won't live as long. Uh, if your scorpion's staying in its hide most of the time, that means it's happy. If it's out walking around during the day and it's constantly trying to climb, you know, it's unhappy with its surroundings, you want to get him a better hide, better substrate. So that's about it. Here's Victor, the Red Claws tank.